So my guys, I was just minding my own business, you know, like I do, as a lace does. And then I came across this guy right here, Vera 2.0 sneak peek, probably just something from the grassroots community. Nope, it's from the TOFEN official account. What? Vera? Okay, it's a 45 second clip. You know what? Let's do a quick react to it. But I do want to talk about the impact of this because this is quite big and as well as some of my own predictions. Oh, look at those thighs, boy. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> Lynn, fantastic support. Yes. Epic Mounts, legendary world boss. All right. All right. I actually played this on CN. It's really freaking annoying. <laughs> this guy right here. Oh my lord, it's the white whale from ReZero. It seems like every game has a A. Hey, let's go, Lin, my girl with the fan. And Mirror City. Oh my lord. I love that glass pyramid thing. I love this. I love this cyberpunk. Wow, that was 45 seconds already? Holy crap, that was that was giga fast, man. All I can say, my guys, is that I'm freaking giga hyped. Hi. Welcome back to the video. My name is Lace. This is a Tower of Fantasy video. And today we're going to be talking about Vera 2.0, the sneak peek and its implications. That's what I really want to focus on because this means that we can actually do some level of preparation for Vera. Some people were like, oh, Vera is not going to be around for four to six months. I was one of those people. I did not think that they would actually pull Vera out so fast. And so, yeah, today let's talk about predictions. Let's talk about like preparation. Let's talk about what exactly we can expect. What are we doing with Vera? So I think the immediately most obvious thing in terms of predictions is, well, Okay, they've dropped a sneak peek now for Vera 2.0. Remembering, my guys, that we are on 1.0.7. We haven't even gotten like 1.1, 1.5. We haven't got Artificial Island. We're already getting 2.0. My guys, I do have a prediction for this one, and I do believe it's going to be in probably about October. And I'm talking October like this year, right? So in about one month and a couple of days. The reason why I think so is because, first of all, we've got this one down here. We've got the Frig that is releasing on September 1st. And so what I personally think is going to happen after this freak banner is that we're going to have a banner for uh, your girls Cobalt over here, Claudia over here, maybe even a dual banner. And then like I've mentioned before, I reckon that Bai and Mark are not going to be coming. And so what's that going to lead us to? Straight into 2.0, into Vera. And so with the approximate duration of about like two weeks to three weeks, that is going to take us into October. To be honest, I think it's completely feasible. Maybe they actually even run together Claudia and Cobalt banner, which would be pretty insane. I don't think they've had like a double rate up before but i have been hearing some rumors some predictions as to after like the frig banner we're gonna have some sort of banner and then we're gonna get ruby after that i'm just telling you guys what i am seeing on the ground just from like some communities and stuff so i think it's gonna be like frig into cobalt slash claudia into ruby and even if it wasn't like what else could they do they can't really exactly like release these guys over here the alternative would be the frig right now into claudia cobalt into the lin and why i really want to like focus on the cobalt and claudia first is because like just from a timeline perspective they did come first and it doesn't make sense for them to come after 2.0 and so i am relatively confident that we will see cobalt and claudia before we get to vera but nobody else and so to really hammer home this point there is actually a banner schedule over here and you can see down here the cn banner i'm going to expand that and you'll see that claudia into cobalt into buy and then mark and then nemesis and then frig up here obviously our timeline is very very different from cn when the nemesis came first and then we've got the frig that came after and then you can see we've got ruby over here about like four months five months after launch and this is approximately where 2.0 dropped with ruby and so okay in that case i can see why ruby would be the first predicted banner for the 2.0 Vera patch. So yeah, just to summarize, we've got the Nemesis over here going into Frig, and then I think we're gonna go into Claudia, and then Cobalt B, or maybe these two are gonna be concurrent, and then we're gonna skip by Yoakui and Mark and then go into the Ruby. Now, the interesting thing about this is that, again, the patch 2.0 Vera did come out about four or five months later on CN. We are probably going to be getting it maybe like in two months after launch. And so I do think that we are actually on an accelerated schedule. And to be honest, it actually makes a lot of sense considering how hard we are level capped every day, right? Because in the CN advice, everyone is saying, oh man, you should actually be saving up all of your EXP to be getting like, you know, more exp for your later levels because it will be like leveling hell my guys i don't know about you but this leveling hell like to me it doesn't exist it might come out after level 60 or something but people said that it was coming out after level 30 i didn't believe 
them. And here we are. I'm still capped every freaking day. I'm behind like a couple of days on the main story quest line. I do think that this is actually by design. I think that we are actually on an accelerated pace to hopefully maybe one day catch up to CN and maybe even sync servers. That, my guys, is what I am getting at. I think that we are looking at a synced up server with the CN version, which would be pretty freaking hype, to be honest. What it does mean, however, is that you should probably start saving these type 1 chips and the purple chips, the type 2s over here, because we could take advantage of them in the very patch. Now, now this is an interesting, interesting theory, and it's that because of our pacing, because of the changes in global, you can see we do not have a one-to-one -one with CN. The chests and the predictions for the chests, how people are saying, oh, these blue tickets and these purple tickets, they're gonna get you red nucleuses, they're gonna get you like dark crystals and stuff. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, like there's a possibility they might change that. I don't think so. I don't think that they will but there is a possibility, okay? I'm not trying to doomsday post or anything, but what I do have to say is that the thought has occurred to me that this is all for nothing. However, let's take the bet that this is going to work. Let's take the bet that Vera 2.0 is going to bombard us with those chests, with those red nucleuses, if we save up enough of these. So my guys, just save these up. There's no harm in doing it. You're not missing much, just force opening like these crappy chests anyway, right? And so the next topic I wanted to talk about is that considering we're going like breakneck speeds to Vera 2.0, does that mean that we're going to have our like King, our Crow, our Shido, or whoever lose effectiveness earlier? I think the answer is no. And the reason I think this is, first of all, we're going to be losing by and mark my, my prediction, my assumption anyway. But second of all, Hotter Studios have shown that they are willing to balance the characters for our server. At least we've got the nemesis with the Giga nerfed, like from China. She is a powerhouse. And then coming down to global, she got a little bit nerfed. She it does feel stronger than some of the others, but she doesn't feel overwhelmingly strong. And so to be honest, what I think is going to happen is that we are actually going to be seeing changes to potentially all of the characters that are coming from here on out, right? Like, so everyone we know about, Cobalt B apparently getting Fire Resonance, Claudia apparently getting Physical Resonance, Nemesis got the Vault Resonance, Frig got the Ice Resonance, Ruby, we don't even know what's going to happen to Ruby, no guesses at all. And so all of the characters that are coming after, Ruby, Saki, Lin, and Lyra, I think they are not going to be giga giga broken, I think they might actually be balanced, as balanced as Nemesis is, for example, on Global. And you guys have already seen, we've got like Huma buffs, we've got some buffs on some of the other characters that are mainstay. I really do think that Hotta are just trying to like really dampen that power creep and try to let it happen as little as possible or as slow as possible. Like my guys, look at all of the characters that are on this screen right now that are for EN version. Not one of them is bad, right? Because they can be used in a whole bunch of different game modes. They are used in a bunch of different areas. And so it's these kinds of moves that Hotta is making that is making me feel like we're going to go towards more of like a balanced schedule. I think these guys are all going to get rebalanced. And our version of Tower of Fantasy, I think, is going to deviate quite steeply from CN. So what that means is no more copying comps. <laughs> However, the one thing that I am worried about, that I'm always worried about with accelerated schedules for the Vera 2.0, is the fact that we're probably not going to be getting as many Dark Crystals as CN did. So, like, for example, like, they got Vera 2.0 over four months. We're going to be getting it in, oh my, I'm assuming, in two months. And so they had four months worth of Dark Crystals to pull. We might get, like, squeezed banners from, like, their banner durations, which were about, like, 18 days, 19 days, 18 days, 18 days. I think we're going to get squeezed down to, like, 14 maybe 12 days and so therefore it might be a little bit harder to save up just a little bit i'm hoping that hotter is going to take this into consideration that we're gonna actually get squeezed really really hard or maybe that is part of their strategy to make us spend a little bit more i don't know and so yeah that's in summary like my prediction for this 2.0 patch honestly it's freaking hype because i think that 2.0 is a fantastic state of the game and i know that a lot of you are actually very very excited for like the lyra for the lin for the saki Let's go get it. <laughs> and so honestly, like most of that, if not all of it was speculation. However, I do want to get your opinion, what you guys think on everything that we just talked about. 2.0, we do have the teaser. We have the sneak peek. This is certain. But in terms of like the, oh, I think it's coming in October. When do you guys think it's coming out? What do you think we're going to be getting? What is the banner order going to look like? How long are these banners going to go for? And last of all, let me know how you feel about all of this. However, that is going to bring us to the end of the video. And so if you guys did enjoy this video or have kind of found it helpful, please consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel and turning on that notification bell. However, as my girl Lynn once said, oh my God, I cannot wait for you, my goddess. All good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.